What's up? It feels good to be here. It's so good to see you. Yeah, I haven't thanks. seen you in a long time. It, it's been a minute. It's yeah. been a minute, but it's yeah. always good. It's always good to talk with you. I can see you've let yourself go, but you, you, know, you see it, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm in black, trying to, you know, slim, yeah, slim, I slim color. <laughs> I love that outfit. That's fantastic. Thank you. So as I said, here's here's a New York Times called you one of the greatest actors of 21st century. I agree. Uh, Time Magazine said you're one of the most 100 influential people in the world. I agree. And currently sexiest man alive. I agree. Okay. I'm three yeah. for three. I'll take that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's no, been a crazy year. Yeah, it has been a crazy year. But yeah. you do look really good. Did you please tell me that you at least gained the, the quarantine 15 like we did? <laughs> I did like a quarantine 10. You did 10? Yeah, I did, I did, I did a solid 10. Because you yeah. take such good care of yourself. You don't, you, like, what's your cheating go-to food when, you, when you're bad? When I was bad, I would probably do, I love carbs, so like, I did like a chicken cheesesteak uh, su uh, sub. Mm -hmm. I did uh, pizza mm -hmm. and pasta. So that's kind of like my trifecta yeah. that I like to And you usually don't have carbs? I mean, not that much, not like at all in one sitting. I'll usually do like carbs earlier in the day so I can like work it off. Yeah. But um, more rice and, and, and salads and, and, and vegetables yeah. and stuff like that. You're yeah. so disciplined. I have to be. I know. You know well, I... We're all, we all have to be. We don't <laughs> do it. But you really do it. And you were sending, I was going to ask if people were sending food to you, but you were actually helping and sending food to your, to your family, right? I was. Like, that was one of my, like, pastimes. I, I learned to make a lot of pasta dishes, carbs again, mm -hmm. um, while I was home. So, you know, couldn't really see them that often. So what I would do is, like, late night, me and my boy Bryce, we would, like, make all these, like, fresh pestos and uh, uh, carbonara. Wait, you would make it? You cook? Yeah, I would cook at the house. And I wow. Would, I, I love cooking. My, my mom and my dad, they had a home catering business growing up. So I, as soon as I was old, old enough to see over the counter, they had me to work just like prepping and helping oh. and stuff like that. So I would like put them in these mason jars. I, I printed out a little uh, logo. We called the restaurant Giordano's. <laughs> and then I would uh, <laughs> drop it off at the house. Oh, you could have dropped some off at our house. I don't next, know why. I, I will do that next time. All right, next I time. Will, for sure. So no wonder you stayed at home for so long, because you lived with your parents for a long time. Like, you just almost literally moved out, like, what, two years ago? Two years ago, and I um, never looked back. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> never looked back. Um, but yeah, it, it feels good to have, you know, my own space, working on uh, construction's getting ready to happen. So. I'm already prepared for the next year and a half of my life to not go as planned when it comes to construction. Well, yeah, if they say a year and a half, it's gonna be three years. Three years, at, at least. I'm already going through like... Double the money. Permits and approvals and yeah. all that good well, stuff. Well, you'll be it's off working, right? So you won't be home during construction. Exactly, that's that, the plan. That's the way you do it. That's the yeah. plan. You, yep. should, you should work three movies in a row. I think that might be the case. Yeah. So uh, how old is your nephew now? He is a year and four months. That's a cute age. Yeah, he's, uh, he's mobile now. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's figuring out his legs work. You take your, your eye off him, and in one second, he's out of here. He's gone. He's, yep. uh, he's great. It, it, that, that actually probably is a good thing for you that you have a, a nephew, because your mother probably was pushing for somebody to have a kid. It, it, he bought me some time. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I, mm -hmm. Lennox definitely gave yeah. me, uh, yeah, gave me a little, yeah. little break there. But your dad's name uh, was Michael A. Jordan. Yes. You're Michael B. Jordan. Uh -huh. So then your son will be Michael C. Jordan. I am <laughs> breaking that cycle right there. Really, you're not gonna do? It's too much. It's like the pressure I had to live up to, you know, my dad's name. Yeah. And and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put yeah. that on my kid. No, I'm gonna give him his own identity. Oh, that's yeah. sweet to think of that. Yeah, he's got to walk you. his own shoes. Um, all right, so here you are on the cover of a Men's Health magazine, and it looks like waves are coming in. I'm assuming sand was in your pants a lot. Yes, that looks great. Uh, <laughs> actually getting the shot, like, we had to wait for the waves to come every time. Yeah. There's a lot of sand everywhere, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Because inside, that, that's not a calm. That's like, no. you're like, there's sand in my crack. There's sand. Yeah. And the water wasn't as warm as it looks? No. No, uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. So. Um, it's so here's, OK, you're doing a handstand. And, and now I would think that you could do a handstand, but is someone holding you up? Someone's holding you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone's holding you up. It was about three people holding me up on that one, okay. uh, to be perfectly honest. I had, I had to be fair. Still very brave, because no one looks good upside down. I, <laughs> and the older you get, 
you're, when you're upside down, <laughs> gravity in your cheeks, it's not a good look to be upside. I don't know who came up with that idea. I, I mean, it was, I blame Leo, actually, but the photographer. Leo, Leo insisted on, on me taking that shot. Well, it's good. But here's, here's what I was really impressed with. You working out, which, and everyone knows how strong you are, but you're underwater. Is this in the ocean or a pool? Uh, this is the ocean. The ocean. This is in the ocean, with, yeah. What is that, a rock? Yeah, we found these stones that were, you know, laying on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and, uh, and I saw these, these, uh, these workouts that th these surfers actually do to kind of work on their conditioning and their breathing and stuff like that. And they'll carry these stones in the water. So I was like, why don't we just recreate that? Running yeah. or what were you doing with them? Were you jumping out of the water with them or just running? Just running on those. I mean, just to get air, I would have to jump up to the surface just to get a, a breath and then go back down and we would try to find the right, try to find the right framing. So it, this was probably one of the toughest exercises that I think I've ever done. Because you're in the ocean, you got fish and sea urchins and random things, you know. I know when I'm in a pool and like a, you know, you get yeah. like a random hair or something touches you, you just start yeah. to freak yeah. out a little bit. Yeah. But uh, in there, you got seaweed and all types of crazy stuff, but it was cool. What kind of pool are you in that there's random hair? What, what, uh... Well, you know, I mean, or a leaf or something like that, I think. Okay, all right. <laughs> Just, I don't know where you're swimming. Um, all right, Michael, we have to take a break. More with Michael after this. This past Super Bowl, you did an Alexa commercial. Yeah. And uh, that was fun. That was so much fun. That was really fun. It... Do you know who did the Alexa commercial last year? No. Me and Portia. Okay. We did Alexa last year. Okay. You did it this year. They asked us last year when we did it, would you get in the bathtub at the end fully clothed? And we said, no, let's put that off for the next person you to know do. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. Because yeah. being fully clothed in a bathtub, it seems cool. It's a little, little awkward. Yeah. A little awkward, but it was, it, was, it was fun. The spot was really, really The spot really was fantastic. It was. I loved it. Like all the outtakes and the bloopers that we have behind the scenes, it, it, was, it was really incredible. I bet. Yep. I bet. Um, hey, you are, not only are you uh, getting ready to, to shoot Creed three, yes, ma'am. But you are directing. I am. I mean, what is, you've never directed before? I've never directed a, a film before. Maybe a little commercials or little spots here and there. But this is the first time that I'm really getting, you know, behind the camera in a big way to do my first. What you know, a full huge picture. undertaking this is. Yeah. I, How do you feel? I'm excited. I, I'm not really nervous about it. It's a character that I know. It's a world that I know. It's the first time I'm playing, you know, a character three times, and uh, and, and it's a story. I've been daydreaming about it for such a long time since the first Creed that there's seeing what what's been in my head on the page now and actually like bringing everything together. It's like a pretty cool feeling. Where are you shooting? Uh, we're shooting hopefully Los Angeles, maybe Atlanta, you know, but but. We're, uh, it's, it's kind of an L.A. story this time around. So uh, have you, you've, you've prepped for it, obviously, already. We're still prepping. We're still in yeah. prep. We, we start in November. We start in November. So right now I'm in, you know, soft prep, but, but we're prepping. Fantastic. I know Twitch uh, is, as we all are, a huge fan. Absolutely. Twitch, what kind of questions you got for Michael? Yeah, I want that because, man, just we've been following the journey and everything that, that you're involved in, your production company is involved in, like, seems so intentional. So I just wanted to know, like, how much legacy, um, how much you think about legacy when you're uh, thinking about what projects to take on and which direction to take. Oh, man. First of all, thank you. But, yeah, yeah, legacy is big for me. Uh, you know, we're on this earth for a short amount of time, you know, and always wanting to do things that, you know, um, that, that leaves the world better than it was when I got here, you know, um, a blueprint you know, doing things that matter, that say something, but also fun, you know? Sometimes, you know, you gotta hide the medicine and the food on, 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 certain, on certain things and certain projects. So uh, the movies that I, that I, that I play in or, or produce, um, creating uh, projects for other talent, it's, uh, you know, you're defined by who you help, you know, who you put on. So that's something that I've always kind of like taken into consideration also, so. It's cool. Black Black Thanks, man. I hope you guys enjoy this one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to see. It's going to be so good. We have uh, more with Michael after this. We're back with Michael B. Jordan, and that is a clip from Without Remorse, um, which is a thriller from the, from the start, the entire thing. But tell everybody about it. Uh, it's a Tom Clancy novel, um, uh, Without Remorse. We follow the story of John Kelly, who basically is loyal to his country, loyal to you know, the military. Um, and, you know, and loyal to his family as well. But his family gets taken away from him, and we see him go on a mission uh, to get some answers. And he doesn't really stop until, uh, until he does. 
and there are some crazy stunts. There's a stunt that I thought, you have to really be doing this because you can't make it look like this. You, you set a car on fire mm -hmm. with someone in it. Mm -hmm. You get in the car yep. with that person with the car on fire. Uh -huh. How yep. do you have insurance? <laughs> How is anyone letting you work? Trust me, I had to beg the studio to let me do some of this stuff for that reason alone. Um, but no, we had an incredible stunt team. We uh, really spent time working on these stunts, really getting everybody comfortable. Uh, to feel like I could handle it and not get hurt. So, but there's one thing you could train. You could train for like, you know, uh, you know, fight scenes or even underwater holding your breath. But it's kind of hard to train to get into a burning car. You just gotta, you just gotta do it and not think about it so much. So I just kind of just didn't think about it. I was loose on set, having fun, having a good time, and they were like, "All right, ready to go? Let's go." And I just, I just went for but it. But even the person who's acting, like, that's quite a job to take on to be the guy that's going, "Oh, I get in a burning car." No, um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but then, and then you, you mentioned underwater. How long, yeah. because you're underwater a lot, how, how long can you hold your breath? At that time, maybe about three minutes. Right now, maybe not so much, but no. for, for, about, for about three minutes. And uh, the way Stefano wanted to shoot it, you know, we wanted to shoot long takes. And, uh, you know, I did maybe 95%. Of, uh, of everything that you, you guys see. So, so the underwater stuff was definitely uh, one of the harder things I had to do. One of the fun things you did was you went on the Audubon. It, how, how fast did you drive? You drove a Lamborghini? Yeah, I did the Lamborghini on that one. I was about 230 miles an hour. 220, yeah, yeah, 230. What's that feel like? It, 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 things moving really, really slow when you go that fast, actually. Really? Yeah, you would think that, you know, things are whizzing by, but, like, at a certain point, everything just starts to slow down, and you can, like, really you get kind of tunnel vision in a way, but it was, uh, it was fun. Wow. Was okay, then fun. I'll go that fast. I thought it, 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 seems, <laughs> it seems like you'd feel fast, but you feel slow. Um, all right, we're going to play a game after this. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,